Hello friends. In this video, I am going to show you about the report definition settings. So by default, each and every report definition when you created, it has some default settings. Now in this video, I want to change the default settings. Okay. For example, let me show you go to the records. You can take any one of the report definition. For example, go to the reports, report definition. Uh, hmm. So for example, I am taking this test report. I'm just opening this test report. We'll see the uh, default settings, some of the default settings. So go to the uh, report viewer. Okay, go to the data access. By default, maximum number of rows. For example, if you did let me revert back this change, I don't want to. Okay, let me revert back. Now you can see this is the default report definition. For example, I have one report definition. Go to the data access. Uh, <coughs> go to the report viewer. Enable paging. Remove this one. Then you can go to the data access. Maximum number of rows to retrieve is by default 500. If you did not mention that, if you did not mention any maximum number of rows, to retrieve here the default value here is 500 okay so not only in this report definition across all of your uh, across all of your report definitions so default maximum number of rows to retrieve is 500 only for example if your client requirement is if the client is asking to change this 500 to 100 only Client is asking, no, 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 default number of rows to retrieve is 500, right? Currently, change it to 100. Remember this point as well. Here, I have unchecked the enable paging option. If enable paging option means based on the pagination settings, based on the pagination settings, it will be displayed If you by default 50. But if you don't want to pagination, if you don't want pagination, uncheck. Now go to the data access. Now what is the maximum number of rows? 500. Now what I'm going to do? I want to change this setting. So go to, before that, let me run this report definition. Check out. Before that, let me run this report definition. So maximum number of rows to retrieve is 500, right? Let's see now. Save. Because I have unchecked the enable paging option. Run. So <clears throat> maximum number of records to retrieve is only 500. Okay, result count is 100. Sorry, one. So. Hmm. Let me take another report definition. Go to the query. Remove this filter condition. I'm just in my work class. Dot pj ins key. Here maximum number of records it is showing as 329 
but actually i have given 500 okay anyway i have only these many records now what i am going to change go to the configure reporting settings go to the configure reporting settings now here we have a default see this one maximum number of rows to retrieve is 500 maximum elapsed time for database query that means uh, the query should not be executed more than 30 seconds and uh, maximum number of rows to retrieve is 10,000 maximum elapsed time this is for when exporting the data okay so by default all these are the default settings now what i am going to do maximum number of rows to retrieve is 500 right just open this configuration setting open this configuration setting so here see this one this is a one pega ootb py max record application setting now what i am going to do i am overwriting this one i am overwriting this one currently it was in the pega rules engine now what i am doing I am overwriting this configuration setting into my rule set version. No, I'm just not making any change. I'm just selecting changing the rule set version. I'm selecting in the organization. Click on create and open. Now here, what I am doing, I am just changing 500 to 100. Just click on save. Only for development, only for development. Check in. Blah, blah, blah. Now this is your test report, right? Action. Just refresh. go to the data access here maximum number of rows to retrieve but let's run this one let's run this one click on run why see this one maximum number of rows to retrieve is 100 only so even if you open any report definition across your pega applications because you across your pega applications in the sense uh, you have overridden you have overridden this application setting into your rule set version your rule set version you have overridden this application setting py max records into from pega rules engine to your rule set version so in this way in your application across all your report definitions by default now now the maximum number of records to retrieve is 100 only 100 only there is a one more option if you want to override this setting as well for individual report, you can override it here. For individual report definition, it can applicable only for this report definition, not all. This is already you are aware of it, but only in this video, what I want to show you, I want to override the default report definition settings, default report definition, maximum number of rows to retrieve setting into our application. Now action, run. See this one now maximum number of row records to retrieve is 200 in this way go to the configure reports setting here you can override all of these report definition settings you can override all of these report definition settings this is for applicable for pega rules engine just click on Now it is picking from your application rule set version SPI. So not only this one, you can change all the remaining settings as well. Maximum elapsed time for database query 30 seconds, right? You can override this setting PY query timeout interval. You can also change this setting into your rule set version. Then it, <coughs> then it is applicable for then it is applicable for all of your report definitions which are available in this SBI application, not other applications. Not other applications because you have changed, you have overridden this configuration setting. You have overridden this configuration setting into your application rule set version, right? SBI 010101. So in this way, in this way, 
you can override the default report settings into your application which is applicable for all of your report definitions and even again if you want to override specific to that report definition you can change at the report definition level you can change at the report definition level <laughs> at any point of time you can restore to default also you can restore to default say action run restore to default means not 500 100 because you have overridden that setting and even if you want to go to the clipboard go to the standard thread PY report content page PY report content page click on this one see this one PY max record is 100 not 500 so like this you can override this setting I hope you understand this a simple video and apart from this I just want to show you one more option just this is a simple options because I don't want to make a separate video for all these options you can directly by looking into this development uh, you can directly say this is a system level is 2 you can simply say the system level is 2 development you no need to go to the system system levels etc you can easily identify what is the current system level see this is the development okay this is one of the small tip you no need to go to that system name system level go to this report definition sorry go to this records system admin system prpc What is the system level? Production level is two development. I no need to tell all these things. I need to. I no need to open all these rules. Just directly, I can say development. Tomorrow, what I can do? I will change it to production level three. Then I can restart my mission. I can restart my server. Then it will represent as a quality assurance. Quality assurance. So just today, I will update. Whenever I restart my server, I'll update it as quality assurance. But keep it as a development only. Keep it as a development. Okay, so this is just one of the small option I want to show you and apart from that also go to the configure system performance and see this one rules not using a lightweight list. See this one. This is also one of the option. I just want to explain because I will not make a separate separate videos whatever the knowledge or whatever the options or whatever the features we must aware of learn it. That's it. There is no need to, uh, okay, this is important, this is not important. Maximum number of options, maximum number of features we have to coverage in this tool. That's it. Then only you can get good grip on this tool. See this one, system performance rules not using the lightweight list. Because we have an options right in Pega, in most of the people are aware of it. When you are doing the OBJ browsing the activity, there is an option use lightweight list. For example, sometimes the use lightweight list is related to the performance. It will improve the performance, but not all the time depends upon your requirement. Also, you must use the use lightweight list. But if you want to see, if you want to see what are the list of rules which are not used with the lightweight list by going to configure system uh, performance rules not using lightweight list. You can easily navigate here. You can just see, okay. These are the activities are identified where OBJ browse is not using a lightweight list, etc. In my application currently, I don't have, but this is the one of the option. I hope you understand. Thank you.